Today we'll be having a quick look inside a Seagate hard drive. This was pulled out of a, ooh, was it a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox? I think it might have been an Xbox uh, 360. So as you can see it has the uh, LD25.1 up the top there. 20 gigabyte, very OEM. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a fan of uh, Seagate hard drives. I was a bit disappointed when uh, Samsung sold off their rotational hard drive division to Seagate. Uh, I would have, if anything, it might bring a bit more reliability to the Seagate brand, but I doubt it. Seagate will probably push all their fancy technologies of failing hard drives onto Samsung. I happen to quite like the uh, West, Western Digital range, to be honest. That's, that's, that's my brand of choice for rotational hard drives. SSDs, I'll go Samsung any day. So let's take it apart. And I probably should mention first and foremost, after all that other waffling, this hard drive is already faulty. Don't do this to a working hard drive, it's just a waste. While all hard drives do seem to fail eventually, they are mechanical, I have found time and time again that Seagates seem to have a higher failure rate. That said, Black West and digital drives also seem to have a high failure rate. Uh, what do you do? Everything fails. Oh, there's the hidden screw. Found it. And that's how a hard drive works. Over here you've got the arm, which is very sensitive. Magnet, which controls the arm, I guess. The uh, platter itself. Uh, this actually has a little head locking thing. For all those times you might drop your PlayStation 3 or Xbox, it parks the heads so they're nice and safe. Um, that's about it, they're pretty simple on the inside. Very nice mirror finish. When the, uh, wonder where the bad block is. Uh, I can't see it. I've looked pretty well too in that three seconds. It's amazing how simple they are, yet how easily they fail. Don't want to put my fingers on it or get it all fingerprinty. Yeah! It's actually not held in by that much. It does seem to be just the one platter. Nope, those heads aren't ever going to work again. Head, there's only one head by the looks. Very good mirror. I'd like to make a wall of these. You can see my camera. So there you go.
that's just an overview of the internals of a Seagate hard drive. I'd imagine if you take apart a Western Digital, you'd find a lot less, uh, a lot less. I'm going to fail prematurely on you inside it. I mean, look at that. It doesn't even spin evenly. It's crooked ass. Does Seagate not test? Oh, okay. That's a good noise. There's no head on this side, so you can't. It's not as fun. And that's why you should also make a backup today. It's one thing I recommend, it's having a data backup. I myself have two backups of all my data and all my storage of essential data is uh, backed up to a RAID 1, which I think is 2-3 terabytes at the moment. Need a bit more storage. But uh, on that 3 terabytes, because um, it's RAID 1, it's got a bit of redundancy, so if one of the drives does fail, it'll all be good. They're unlikely to fail though, because they're Western Digital green drives, which are 3.5 inch, and they don't spin as fast as they have to. And the thing's only on once every month. Okay, every two weeks. Okay, every week, when I, when I get a chance to back up. You can never have enough backups. Thanks for watching.